Hello, uh, good morning. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you how to uh, use output caching with multiple response. I mean to say, uh, we have three employee and the uh, the employee ID is one two three. When you are using vary by param attribute with the none uh, value then you get only one employee at a time let's check it uh, because every each request uh, the caching will store uh, for some period of time and you get always uh, the same response so if you want to if you want to cache uh, with the multiple response then use vary by param attribute with the query string parameter okay now bind it uh, grid view uh, with the normal data or you can say the table of data mm. you can see that in which we have a three column and I want to get the query string parameter that is ID is a query string parameter I want to get the employee details using the uh, employee ID property and all uh, data will be retrieved from ID property okay if you um, okay we are in browser and get all data one by one using query string parameter you can see your output mm. uh, page will show and the old uh, uh, employee one by one according to their query string first of all run successfully and then after I will show you how to um, show one by one employee and now use query string parameter that is id id equals to one that is employee one yeah employee two yeah, employee three that's all employee we can get here but after caching that is output cache directive duration is in seconds 20 seconds and vary by param attribute is none first of all I will show you with the none and then after I will show you with the multiple response <coughs> sorry mm. First of all, vary by param attribute will get the result null. So, do not get it response here 2 and 3 because for the 20 seconds uh, cache will be stored in memory uh, as a null value. So, after, third, after 20 seconds, you can refresh it and get your result because after 20 seconds memory yeah after 20 seconds uh, cache removed from the memory and new item stored or you can say get item stored in the cache so for the each request one two three uh, we have to get single id that is three if you want to change it and also use the caching property so pass it here the parameter that is id parameter copy and paste it here according to id we can get uh, the record of the employee and get for the multiple responses okay now question mark and get the id one yeah get the id2 there is no effect on the duration property 
when we use the vary by parameter with the with the uh, table column name okay so you can get multiple response according to vary by parameter thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all